Hello, I'm Karen Farnsworth of Wildflower Quilting. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you a fun new enhancement we have in Creative Studio 7's Apply feature. Prior to Studio 7, patterns to be used in the Apply feature had to be point-to-point -point designs with their start and end at or near the extreme outside edges of the pattern. This design, Point-to-Point -point Flower 2 from the Statler files, is a good example of that. Its start and end are on the extreme outside edges of the pattern. Now in CS7, we can use point-to-point -point designs with inset start and ends. Let me show you why I love this enhancement. I'm going to demonstrate using a set of patterns I just created called Feather Builder Set. Here I have several patterns from Feather Builder Set in my Project tab of Creative Studio 7. And as you can see, these feather pieces have inset endpoints, allowing the repeats to nest together. Let's apply this pattern, double feather, to a curved line. I might do this if I were creating a feathered vine to fit a scalloped border, like on this quilt or if I were trying to fill an unusually shaped space on a custom quilt or when creating a whole cloth design. I'm going to choose my base pattern on screen, choose my design in the project tab, and then go to the apply pattern icon. Cool. Now let's create a feathered ring with some feather builder designs. I'm going to drag a circle to the screen. This is going to be my base design. And this time I'm going to choose feather top as my apply pattern. Go to apply pattern icon, click, and it places those designs around the outside of that ring. Now the base pattern is still highlighted, so I can select a pattern for the inside of my ring. Feather bottom, go to apply icon, there it is. But what if I am not thrilled about these overlapping feathers? Okay, control Z to back up a step, or edit menu and undo. Make sure that that base pattern is selected and choose a different feather. I want to try this narrower feather. Select it, go to apply pattern. There we go. We can also concatenate apply patterns, meaning I can mix and match my feather styles. I'm going to drag another circle to the screen. I'm going to select my first top pattern. and then hold the control key down on my keyboard while I select the rest of the patterns in the order I want them to, be, to appear in the sequence. Now I have four feather patterns selected in my project tab. Click on apply patterns. There they are. The base pattern is still selected so I can choose designs for the inside of my feathered ring. I think I'm going to want to use this narrow feather design more than once in my sequence, so I need another copy of that pattern in my project tab. This is really easy to do in Creative Studio 7. Select that design, right click, and choose Duplicate Pattern. And now there are two copies of that design in my project tab. My base pattern is highlighted, I select the first pattern I want in the sequence, hold my control key down while I select any other designs I want in the order I want them to show up. I think I will alternate those narrow feathers between each design and finish off with a curl. Go to apply pattern. I love it. Here are some other examples of feathered rings and curves made from my Feather Builder set. The set is available for purchase and instant download on my website, wildflowerquilting.com.
Now it's your turn to get creative and have fun playing with inset point-to-point -point patterns in the Apply feature of Creative Studio 7. Enjoy!